Welcome to Ordway Sign Supply in this tutorial of the Roland LV290 laser engraver. In this demo, we'll be outputting from CorelDRAW using the LV290 print driver and engraving the Roland logo onto a steel plate. From CorelDRAW, we'll go to the file menu and select Open Previous and choose the Roland logo. I'm going to zoom in and then select the logo. From the file menu, I'm going to select print to open the print options. Here I'm going to select the LV290 print driver. In the print range section, it's important that we select the selection radio button. We can now click the preferences button. In the options tab, I like to change it to 600 dpi. Then we can select the pen tab. Here's where you will select the laser's head speed and laser power. In this case, I'm going to leave the speed at 50% and change the power to 40%. Vector data is used for cutting and raster data is used for engraving and pictures. Since this is just an engraving job, it's a good habit to uncheck the vector button and leave the raster button checked. Now we can select the advanced tab and here we can select the starting position. In this case, we want to center the logo on the plate, so we will check the center option and then also Smart Center. Before we send the job to the laser, it's a good idea to preview the job and make sure we're outputting what we expect it to. Back at the Print Driver window, select Print Preview. Here we can see the Roland logo. Don't worry that the page size is very large, we will designate the placement with a Smart Center function. We are now ready to output. So here we are back at the laser and it's a good idea to check and see that the file name is what you expect at the top of the display. I'm placing the piece against the ruler to square it up. First thing we need to do is set the focus. I'm putting the head over the plate and then pressing the focus button. The LV290 will then automatically set the focus height. Next we want to determine the center point of the engraving job. Above the F3 button there will be an SP designation which stands for Smart Center. After we press the F3 button on the panel we can start selecting the outermost points of our job. We can move the engraving head by hand to the left hand most point on the plate with a red dot. We can then press the F4 button. We then place the red dot at the right hand most point and press the F4 button again. We do the same at the top most point, press the F4 one more time, and then place the head at the bottom most point with the red dot and press F4 one more time. Once all four points have been accepted, the F3 button will change to CTR for center. We can press the F3 button at this point and the laser head will move to the center of all four points. We are now ready to laser engrave. Let's press the start button. 